congratulations, you are a homeowner, you are in escrow to purchase a home. Now, there's a few things you definitely don't wanna do before closing on your property. Do not do these things, do not do these things. Do not change your marital status. This is very important. If for any reason at some point during the transaction, you know that your marital status is going to change, you need to make sure that your agent knows, that title knows, that escrow knows, and that your lender knows so that the, uh, the paperwork can be drawn up accordingly. And if for, let's say it's gonna be a divorce, there is paperwork that your partner will have to sign off on. And if they don't wanna sign off on it, you're not getting that house. Please do not change jobs or lose your job. So if you change jobs and it uh, ends up being a lower paying position or a career, a job in a different field that you are currently in when you applied for your loan, those two things are going to heavily affect whether or not you still get approved for that loan. So don't change jobs and do everything in your power not to get fired. Different field that you are currently in when you applied for your loan, those two things are going to heavily affect whether or not you still get approved for that loan. So don't change jobs and do everything in your power not to get fired. Money. Do not move your money. Do not switch banks. Do not take out a boatload of money out of your account. Once that lender, once your lender has verified your funds, that money should stay exactly where it is. Do not pay off any accounts unless your lender has requested you do so in order for you to qualify for the loan. A lot of people think that they just want to clear off all their debt before they move into their new home, have a nice clean slate. Don't do that unless your lender has requested you to do so in order to get approved for the loan. Now, the loan and the pre-approval is based off of how your finances look when you get in escrow. And actually paying off accounts can hinder your approval. So that's a big no-no. Do not make large purchases. Do not go and take out a loan and buy a brand new car three days before closing because you think this is a done deal. That's not how it works. Do not make any large purchases or take out any large amounts of funds out of your account until escrow is closed and you have keys in your hand. That also goes with saying, do not make any large purchases on your credit card or open any new credit cards, anything that may hinder your credit score. Now, for as far as the actual home itself goes, here are a few other tips of what not to do. Do not skip out on your home inspection, even if it's a brand new home. I don't care if it's 100 years old, 50 years old, or was built yesterday. Do not skip out on a home inspection. Things can happen, people can miss things, things can be put in wrong, things cannot work. It happens, it's a house. And it's one of your, probably your biggest investment in your life, so don't skip out on this. You're gonna want a professional home inspector to go through and inspect the property to assure you what is wrong and what isn't wrong with it so that you can close on your property knowing and being okay with what is and what isn't. Last but not least, do not plan any vacations around the closing date of your property unless you've already spoken to your lender and been assured that you can sign your loan docs prior to vacation. Usually sign your loan docs a day or two before closing, so keep that in mind when planning weekends away, vacations right before closing on a home.